Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dory and today I'm going to talk about what you can do if you get lost. We are here in beautiful Mundaring and I'm actually on the Bibbulmun track. You need to watch this video because if you do get lost, this will help you get back on the track. So first of all, I hope you found this video while doing your research and preparing for your hike because if you're just lost right now and you're trying to google what to do because you're lost then please stop watching this video and try and call the emergency services while you still have reception and also while your phone still has batteries if you do want to prepare yourself for your hike and need to know what to do when you get lost i just want to tell you what you can do during your hike after you get lost and how to prevent from getting lost so first things first when I was six years old, I actually got lost. It wasn't in the woods or anything like that, but it was along the coast in Belgium and I was with my two cousins and we all had like one of those uh, rental scooters, you know, for kids. And my cousin said, try mine. So I borrowed him my scooter and guess what? His was so slow that I got so pissed off that I actually wanted to chase him by foot. Because I did that, I couldn't find my scooter again. And while my parents were walking behind us, I there were so many people that I panicked, I freaked out, and then I kind of continued walking the same direction. So I got completely lost and it took my parents probably about five hours to find me back. And in the end, I ended up in the Red Cross facility in Belgium and um, Luckily, there was a few people taking care of me because that could have gone a lot worse. <laughs> what I learned from there is, first of all, don't panic. And I'll mention this a few times in this video because panic really kills you. Like it can be the end of your story right there. So don't panic, whatever you do. There's a few things you can do during your hike that will actually help you if you get lost. And um, first of all, if you're walking, just look, try and look for landmarks or kind of like identification points because you can try and identify things like a big massive tree or like a hut somewhere, a house or something like an electricity mast. It will help you find your way back when you do get lost and it will also help you find where you are on the map because those landmarks will most probably be on your map. Second thing you can do is always take pictures and not only to create memories guys but if you take pictures you most likely will remember where you took the pictures and if you look at the pictures you will most likely be able to identify where that picture was taken or you might be able to recognize something so you can pinpoint lo your location more accurately. There's like a little branch here a burnt branch there's no trees inside we are thinking that it's there for a reason and we shouldn't go that way it's really easy to get lost here because there's so many different paths you can take so yeah let's wish for the best <laughs> something like that it will help you find your way back if you do get lost one of the most common things why people get lost is because they wander off trail don't sidetrack and well obviously follow the signs and then something you can do in like a worst case scenario and this is most likely for uh, routes or hikes that are not as easy to navigate and where where it's not signposted or if the weather is really bad and the visibility is super bad then I would suggest you make cairns out of rocks and just you know make like a little recognizable path but this is only if you do have to trace your steps back to where you came from or if you're really worried that you're getting lost. So then I would suggest to do that, but that's the worst case scenario. Obviously we don't want everyone to build cairns out of rocks because then it would be absolutely impossible to navigate through and you wouldn't know which ones are yours or anything like that. So this is really in an emergency only. Those are all things that you can do during your hike. So now what to do if you do get lost? So you've been following your signs and you've done everything right but somehow you find yourself lost. This can happen to anyone. If you're most experienced, you're probably most likely to get lost because you think you know it all. But what you do if you get lost, there's just one word you need to remember and that is stop. Stop is actually an anagram for stop, think, observe and plan. Okay, so that's the only word you need to remember. When you figure out you got lost, just stop for a minute 
don't move and just try and breathe take a break you know drink some water have some food just stop and whatever you do do not panic because that will make your situation a lot worse and it will most likely get you even more lost then once you stop and you've taken a breath and just you know relax a little bit then you need to think retrace your steps just think about where you were before you got lost like when was the last time you saw the path when was the last time you saw a sign and when was the last time you recognized something so then once you thought about what your situation currently is then just observe is there any landmarks that you can see in the distance is there any can you hear any people around like in the distance like if you're really quiet you would be surprised how far sound travels and just try and listen for voices try and listen for cars just anything that can help you to figure out which direction you need to walk also you can have a look at your pictures you never know if you recognize something um, but whatever you do just please don't move and then once you've observed your area, your, you know your situation, you've kind of like accepted the fact that you're lost, then you need to come up with a plan, obviously. It needs to be a plan that feels comfortable for you. So if you're not comfortable with the plan, then please just stay put until you have a plan that you feel comfortable with. So that can be following a river or it can be like, okay, I'm going to try and, you know, make cairns and retrace my steps. And if I don't find my way back, then I'll come back to this point or you can just stay put and spend the night where you are depending on what what time of the day it is that might be a good option another important thing to do when you know that you are lost is to actually pinpoint your location so if you carry a GPS it's really easy to just you know click the button on your phone and uh, find your location there's a lot of apps out there that will actually pinpoint your exact location and how far you are off track so I really suggest you download Godhook um, or any GPX file. I have another video about what to do before you go on a hike. So definitely check that out. Having an app and a GPS on your phone like that can track your location can definitely help you a lot. And then once you pinpointed your location, just think about your situation right now. And you kind of need to decide whether or not you will stay where you are or you will try and find your way back and keep going. If you decide to keep going, there's a few things that you need to do in order to stay safe. The first thing is well, you have to determine how long have you walked in the wrong direction and calculate the amount of kilometers per hour that you usually walk. And that will actually give you an idea on how many kilometers you walked in the wrong direction. If you're on a hill and you're totally lost and you really have no idea where you came from then always walk downhill to find like a stream or something which you can then follow into like civilization whatever most likely you will find something if you walk along the stream plus it can be like a, a much needed water source also guys if you find yourself on a trail but it's not the right trail that you were on just stay on that same trail and you will find your way back if you decide to stay where you are then first of all try and call emergency services or any contact that knows that you are out and where you are if you don't have reception try and find an area that is visible for if they want to come and look for you um also hang out any visible clothes that you might have hang it on a branch so that if they come look for you they, they can spot those things and they can pinpoint where you are so if you carry the 10 essentials which i We'll talk about it in a different video. So try and use your whistle so people can maybe hear you. That brings us to the third topic I wanted to talk to you about. How to prepare for your hike and make sure that you don't get lost. And if you do get lost, that people know where you are. So definitely check out my other video on what to do before you go hiking. I would really suggest you carry the 10 essential items if you're a day hiker. Because day hikers are most, much more prone to get lost and not being found because most of the time they're not prepared to spend the night somewhere and they only carry the essentials but those might be not the essentials that you would need when you do get lost um, and then the most important thing always tell someone where you're going at least they know where you got lost and where to look for you one thing i want to share with you guys is don't think it's only going to happen to someone else because there's a lot of people that think they're experienced enough to not get lost but those are usually the people that pay less attention to where they're going and end up getting lost anyway.
if you have to spend the night then there's a few things you can do to help you survive always find shelter before sundown it most like likely gets cold and you can't see anything and then it's really difficult to find shelter you will probably want to make a fire and preferably a very smoky fire so then the emergency services can find you a lot easier well you have to definitely prevent your thirst okay so drink plenty of water keep your body hydrated and you know, if you have a water filter, that's good on you, but if you don't, then just try and preserve that water, but drink small amounts of water. Don't like gulp it down and stuff like that. A very important tip I would give you is just fight the fear, <laughs> because obviously you will be afraid that you might not be found by the morning, but just, you know, you have to keep going. This is it. You have to go into survival mode and keep going. And no matter what, you need to make sure that you're safe, you're warm, you're um, hydrated and for most of all don't panic <laughs> all right well this was a very important video for me because I did get lost when I was a little and I really hope you guys never get lost and never experience this for yourselves but if you do get lost I hope this video really helps you uh, if you haven't just check out the other videos I made for you guys um, especially if you're a beginner hiker as always thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one bye